Hi guys, thanks for tuning in Coastside Family Adventures. We are at the Mount Vernon Thousand Trails. Right down there we just passed the casino. Five is very close, you can actually hear it. And we are in the front parking lot. I guess this is where the storage is. And there is the welcome center. And here's our cabin. We got C14 for the weekend. Most sites here are partial hookups only. They don't have full hookups. I, I guess out of the about, I would say, 200 sites that they have, there are only like 10 full hookup sites. And there's uh, one of the bathhouses that they have. And they have different styles for their cabins, just like the Thousand Trails in Leavenworth. There's another one. And they actually also have yurts here. Dogs are allowed, of course, and we got a dog-friendly cabin, but they do have to be on the leash. And the RV sites are pretty private. It's winter, so in the summer when all the greens are growing, <laughs> um, of course it's even more private, but for the winter it's pretty good. It is uh, February 15th today. Okay, we found the lodge. Oh, I see the laundry room right there in that door. So I'll show you that really quick too. Okay, kids are going in. Lots of open space. There's the dog run down there. All right, let's see the laundry room really quick. Stay, Jesse. stay. All right. Ooh, that looks like a very nice laundry room. Nice. Okay. Oh, you can swipe your card, actually, which is cool, too. Or $2 for the dryer, $2.25 for the wash. Cool. I like it. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. They're playing games later? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's a nice lodge. Definitely. Mama, here's this message. Ping pong, TV, fireplace, some books over there. Looks nice and clean. Maybe they do have some activities going on here. Oh yeah, they do have some activities going on. Saturday, February 15th, Valentine's Bingo. Cool, at 5.30 tonight. Okay. Hope we can make it. Come fun. join us. Easter breakfast. Easter egg hunt. April 12. Okay, so no breakfast today? No. Hmm. Join us for our annual breakfast buffet. That's Easter too. Hmm, okay. Okay, so there has been a cougar sighting. <laughs> he got, yeah, he, he got, See, I didn't want to walk to the to the casino. I knew that was could have been something sketchy. Okay, they have a store here, but the store is closed. So sorry, I can't show you everything, guys. But it is winter, so you know p part of the park is closed for the winter. But it looks like they have a nice store down here. So there's a downstairs too. Oh, there's like a lot of messages on the wall. Like, cool. Not all the water. Uh huh. Okay. I've seen that. I've left messages a lot though. Yeah. Pool. Another fireplace. Yeah, I like it. Oh, over there's the pool. I guess it's also closed, of course, for the winter, but I'll go take a look at it. Okay. So there's a little playground. There's the pool. Looks like a good sized pool. Not too bad. Over there's a hot tub. Also closed for the winter. But also looks like a good sized hot tub. Nice. We might have to come back here in the summer. All the kids are having fun. 
<laughs> okay, here's another view of the lodge from this side. Nice. I like it. Okay, I just missed it guys to show you, but there is a train that comes along. Oh, Daniel's going through the tunnel. So just about every, I think I heard it every couple hours. Look at me, Daniel. You can stand in there? Daniel, yeah. look down. Hi. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so there is a train coming by and it does honk just about every couple hours pretty loud okay guys so just a couple minutes from the RV park is the what is it the Skagit casino right here so the RV park is right down there and you can come here of course if you like gambling and we are going in for some food they do have a buffet here which doesn't open until 10 so I guess we're just gonna go to the encore um, restaurant and have some breakfast in there okay guys really quickly here our breakfast at the Skagit Encore restaurant what do you think <laughs> Whoa, look at Daniel's pancakes <laughs> wow what do you think Christian <laughs> Good. all right guys I'm gonna show you the inside of the cabin but it is not the way we found it of course we've been in here for a couple of days so i wished i had filmed this when we came in because of course everything was sparkling clean and neat and nice but at least you get the idea of the cabin this one has a, an oven and a stove and a refrigerator coffee maker there's also a toaster i saw an, um little place to sit i believe that tv is a smart tv which is pretty cool there's the bunk room christian and daniel got their little bunk beds um bathroom has a bathtub daniel is taking a bath he's very happy about taking a bath um since of course we've been in the rv for a couple years and there's no bathtub in there and there's a bedroom here of course it's a mess right now we did bring our own blankets for the kids and for us uh, the linens and the blankets are included for the queen bed and then uh, you can they do have a package that you can use for the bunk beds if you want to but it's $15 to use their blankets so we brought our own stuff all right guys we are leaving mount vernon thousand trails we had a really awesome stay um i have to say we really like the park give it a thumbs up um it is a very simple park but it has everything that we need it is a great location the staff is awesome very friendly and it's clean thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like uh, there's plenty of other campground reviews on our channel and if you like to follow any of our other adventures there's plenty to watch thank you so much bye